the Milwaukee results are in. Chosen best in fishing is Milwaukee Offshore Fishing Charters. Relax on Lake Michigan's wide open water and enjoy a true fishing adventure. At Milwaukee Offshore Fishing Charters, we have fun and catch huge king salmon and trout. We use high-tech lures and equipment to ensure the most fish every trip. We have three custom fishing boats that can handle large groups. Children welcome. Call now, 414-553-9800, 414-553-9800, or visit us at MilwaukeeOffshoreFishing.com. Book now. Welcome everyone to the 2024 Derby City Classic here in Elizabeth, Indiana at Caesars in Southern Indiana. I am Brian Holly Lee Hollenbeck and the booth with me today is Dale Little Cheddar Lorenz. What's happening everybody? Boy, we got a match for you right now. We got Oscar Dominguez and Mark Showalter here at our stream table. Now look at this. Look at this, look at this, look, ooh, that is close. So I was talking with uh, Mark previously to the match. We're, we're running a little bit behind, you don't know that, judging by the schedule, but um, Mark is, I think, 71, and he can flat out play. We were both watching him warm up, and I think this is gonna <coughs> be a very good match. Oh yeah, might be a quick one. One way or the other. We need a quick one. <coughs> <coughs> I think we're only two hours behind. So just a brief explanation as to what you're looking at at the very bottom of the screen. Our scoreboard right next to the Outer Point streaming logo. Uh, we've got two number threes, and that is what the race is to. Uh, and if you do know nine ball banks, the first one to pocket five balls wins the game. So those little light gray boxes right next to the threes are the running count of pocketed balls. And then on the very outside next to the game is, or name, sorry, is the total number of wins. So first one to three takes the match. All right, Mark broke, made a ball, so he will stay at the table and try to draw first blood. So I was just talking to Oscar before when I was taking this picture. He's we were talking about the delay and, and how it is, and he's like, yeah, I had a uh, reservation for the a steak dinner downstairs with the wife at 7.30, but uh, I had to tell her, I'm sorry, honey. I got to play pool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said, yeah, unfortunately, that's how it goes sometimes. And if you have not been to the Caesars in southern Indiana, um, there is a... Oh my gosh, what's the name of the steakhouse? Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, Gordon Ramsay. Um, we haven't tried it out yet, but I'm looking <coughs> forward to it. 
I well, did. I, uh, I did Gordon's place in Vegas when we were out there. It was, f- oh my god. Yeah, we we d- we had it out there too, and actually, it is really really good. Except don't don't w- if they ask if you want any extras, don't say you want the truffles. Um, because if you want the truffles, then um, you got to pay extra for those, and th- and they didn't say that. And when we got them, for just truffles. It was like fourteen dollars for just a little bit of truffles on top of our uh, risotto, <coughs> but it was good. But I do I do want to say though not I a, asked, not a big fan of fungus. I asked Oscar. I said, "Did you did you have you eaten there before?" He's like, "Yeah, I ate there last year." I said, "Okay, I'm asking. How was it?" So was it good? He's like, "Yeah, you know, it was okay." What what's going on here? Trying to keep that cue ball down in that end. It's a smart shot. Yeah. <coughs> Did so leave Oscar with the six. I have a feeling that we're going to see in the upper left. a lot of safety battles in this match. Smarter, p- smarter play. Not, I'm not saying that the other p- people didn't play smart, but I think there's a lot more. Oh, that was actually a two ball he was going for. <coughs> it was there. Oh, four ball. Four ball in the side pocket. Without a doubt. <coughs> nice shot. Good Mark Showalter. 1 0 lead on the ball count. <coughs> I think he's taking the eight, eight in the side. Didn't look like it went from this angle. Looking at the screen, it definitely does go. And that's two for Mark. Take an early 2 0 lead. Try to hit that one soft, kind of a two-way shot. <coughs> hit it soft enough where if you miss it, you're leaving the ball down on the end rail. But if you make it, you know you still have a, still have somewhat of a shot to shoot at. Oscar's gonna cross bank this into the side. Oh no! Oh no! All right, so Oscar makes that one, but he unfortunately scratches, so he is going to be negative one. (coughs) Haven't seen him yet. (coughs) Uh, It's going to give Mark a pretty easy shot on this two ball. And he drove Center it. pocket. Takes a three to negative one lead. So he's four balls ahead right now. I'm guessing he's probably going to play this three ball next. Unless he can see that six. I don't think so, though. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if the seven goes past the one. Yeah, no, it looks like he's. Yeah. <coughs> so it looks like he's playing safe. Yep. Plan to save, get that, getting that cue ball down at the other end of the table there and not really leaving a lot for Oscar. I think Oscar's going to do the same thing and just put that cue ball down here. Try to get it on the rail. Yep. <coughs> Good shot. I really want to run out there right now and grab that one ball I off know, the table and move yeah. that black spot off. <coughs> of there. It's driving yep. me nuts. That's how I was wondering that that uh, the cue ball. spot was on the cue ball. Uh, 
was impressive. I think he can uh, straighten up this nine ball enough. I don't know. Is that seven in the way? Yeah, is it six know. in the way? I don't think the it's six is, hard to but tell I think from the our angle, but yeah. I think he can straighten this up enough. All right, that gets him off the snide. He's got to pull that ball out, though, so he's still at zero. And that <coughs> ball cannot come out until after he has completed his turn. Correct. I think he's trying to bank this five ball back down table. Yep. That's in. Wow, what a great shot. That gets him on the board with one. Yeah, and the only thing I see here is he's either going to have to play a safe. Um, I mean, he could play the six in the bottom right. See, carry him, carry that's him a off. tough shot. Carry him off the one and come around two rails and try to get it down to the, the upper left pocket as we're looking on the screen. Maybe. Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad shot. Well, he's going I after it. I, I think, think he's going after the, the six. six. Yeah, I think he's going after it. It's kind of a two-way shot. If he can get that. Oh, I see what he's doing. All right. Going six. I don't know if I like that shot. I don't think he does either. Um. Oh, no, actually, that was a very smart oh, play because, because he, knew, balls, he knew two right. balls had to come out. <coughs> I mean, Mark can still play the nine cross side. Right. <coughs> but I like what Oscar did, though, because if he misses this nine, it's going to give it's going to give Oscar a great opportunity for a, for a shot. You know what I mean? Sometimes you almost have to take. And he ooh, just a little long. Ooh. Oh, he got lucky bumping that five. <coughs> they say taking the six six ball across cross corner, lower no. right. I, I think I would. Uh, I don't know if I play safe here or not. Maybe take the five two rails, try on the side. Oh, he's gonna go that three rail, three rail. I like this shot, and then leave the cue ball right there. Right. Because that does make this this shot pretty hard. Mark's either going to have to bank the nine or play safe. Yeah. Yeah. I don't nine, I, nine I, bottom left. Yep. I don't see him trying the five ball because that's too close to a possible scratch. So let me get you over here to this table, this view here. <coughs> I don't think he's playing this bank by the way he's lining up. He's no. just playing safe. Oh, oh, oh. That came a little closer than what he had hoped. Yes, sir, it did. <coughs> And for those of our viewers out there, if uh, you've never played nine ball banks before, missing is not always a bad thing. Correct. You just have to make sure that you get a rail. You don't yeah. fall. Miss it, missing in the right spot. Yeah, that was close. Very close. Good leave on the cue ball. Yep. <coughs> so Mark's probably he's going to have to play the same shot that he had before. But the issue is now he really can't leave that cue ball down on this end of the table because that's going to give Oscar a shot on the one or the five. Well, not if he leaves it where it was. That's a good shot. 
Yeah, that doesn't come off that it's going to give Oscar a great opportunity with this nine ball. <coughs> and again, um, as you can see on the screen, we need to definitely give a big shout out to all of our sponsors that we so appreciate so, so much. Uh, this obviously all wouldn't happen without Inside Pool Magazine and Autumn and Tracy Lerma and uh -oh. also. Oh, uh -oh. No, 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 I got away. Um, also, Eddie Altman, who introduced us to them. It's all been a it's been a great road so far, and we're looking and excited for the road to come ahead. Yeah, speak for yourself. And uh, Peace Shower Cues, can't say enough for them. We certainly appreciate it. As I was talking, Chip uh, opened up the dialogue for us with them, and then next thing you know, they're giving us a cue to raffle off to help uh, help with our expenses here. So we certainly appreciate. What is it John and? Uh, uh, Riley P. Shower and P. Shower. Steve Douglas. Steve Douglas, thank you all so, so much. We certainly appreciate it. Really do. Um, then Milwaukee Offshore Fishing Charter. Mark Scafidi, who is actually a pool player down in the Sussex area. If you ever get to Milwaukee and you want to have a good time, go back, look at the video, take down his number, go to his website, visit his website, and book a charter, fishing charter trip. Oh, that was close. That's a good Very shot. Very nice try. Uh, book a charter with Mark, and if you mention Outer Point Streaming, you will get a special gift along with your charter. But um, I've gone on a charter before, not not Mark's, but uh, I tell you what, out on Lake Michigan, fishing those big uh, salmon and trout. I think we uh, they they make some runs for. Just absolutely phenomenal fight on those. Lake so. Trout. It's, yeah. uh, yep. um, it's a very good time, so make sure you look him up and book your tour, book your charter for a fishing trip. Also with Colonial Life, Maynard, Maynard, you know, how do you? A-Bear. A-Bear? Okay. I say Ebert. Uh, A-Bear works with, uh, I think it's his company, Colonial Life. They do um, insurance for personal company Whatever, whatever you need. If you need uh, insurance needs, look him up. Give him a call. Again, go back and uh, actually, we're gonna post after this, after this rack is done. We're gonna post um, a page with all of our sponsors and it'll have May Maynard's number on there. If you need anything, please reach out to him. So, again, we appreciate all our sponsors so so much. I'm gonna give you this view here to show you what Oscar's looking at here. You looking at banking that backwards? No, I think he's playing safe. <coughs> oh, no. You know, this is one of the most and the best defensive game of banks I've ever seen. Uh, and this is, you know, there well, is no aggression to this game whatsoever. Right, and that's what I was saying before is that I think what we'll see here that we thought it'd go quick, but honestly, it probably won't because, and, and not derogatory towards any of the other matches that were played but it's going to be more uh, a smarter it's a very tactical game yes this is this is yes. a really good game of chess you know they're they're not going to go aggressively um at everything that they have a, a sight on you know you see how they're kind of bunching all the balls up in this spot here so there's really not much you can do with banking these balls You know, talking with Oscar, you can just tell he's such a genuine guy. He is. You know what I mean? Just down to earth. Just easy genuine, to talk to. E very easy to talk to. Really super cool guy. I'd actually like to get out to Sacramento and visit his uh, visit his uh, pool hall. There. Yeah, his dad's so still playing. All right. I was going to, but he actually has done this shot now. <coughs> yeah, I actually met his dad. Uh, in Vegas last year, Tyler introduced me to his dad. Um, super cool guy as well. Oh, no, Michigan. I'm sorry. It was in Michigan. Uh, we went and played Michigan last year. Ernesto. Uh, Tyler introduced me to him. We sat and talked for a while. Super, super cool guy. Just just seemed like a, just a great family overall. So with that being said, 
I'm going to, af after this shot, because I think after this shot with all of this uh, smartness being played, I'm going to quick put up our sponsor, our sponsor page. There's the information there. With Maynard's name on it, or Maynard's uh, phone number. Let me get you back here to the. Wow, Oscar, that was a great shot. All right, so Oscar puts another one down, makes it three to two. And I think that seven ball, that seven ball will go, won't it? Can't really tell from this angle here. Let's take a look at the long view. Yes, it sure did. All right, three to three. It is now tied up. Two balls left. See him pocketing this nine. Nope. Oh. Well, I think he wanted to pocket the nine. I believe he did. Either that or actually maybe that was a because if he would have. No, no, he would have. Yeah, I think he wanted to pocket the nine. <laughs> wow. Okay, that nine just does not want to go in the pocket. I bet it's going this time. What do you think? No. Oh, no, it's not. Well, guess not. Yeah, and I can see why they're doing this because it, it, you look at the number of balls. That that's better because now he's so f so jacked up over. Mm -hmm. Can't shoot at the nine. He's gonna have to pocket the six. Either that or just care, just, yeah, just carry him touch it a little. Carry him off of it and get it to that bottom rail. You know, and here's the thing is that you know you look at you look at Mark. You know, as he said, he's been playing. He actually, I talked to him a little bit. And he's About 100 years. He's been playing a long time. And the knowledge that he has in his head right now from playing that many people in a Banks scenario, I, um, wow. Good shot. Very, very well played. Jason Shaw. Oh, is it Jason versus Federer? All right, so the ball was off the rail, so Oscar. Oscar decided to just tap that ball to the rail, got his good hit, and I don't know if that ball is off the rail again or not. Yeah, that was a good hit. Yeah, uh, a whole bunch of right-hand spin, get the Q-tip to... And it still came off the rail. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> that ball just does not want to stay on the rail. All right, we're going to give you this view here. Uh, we can't really see it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is off the rail. See, my patience at this point, I would have probably just gone for something. <laughs> you know? Yeah, you'd be in the loser's <laughs> bracket. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. All right, so he is attempting to go off the rail. On That's a smart shot. Yeah. Oh, except he. No, that was a foul. So take away one from Mark as he fouled.
Oh, oh. That's a good shot. That was a great shot. That ball is so close to. Yeah, you can definitely tell these two guys have been playing banks for a while. Oh, that's going to leave Oscar an opportunity here. Yep, call that back up. Uh, back up in the upper right hand corner there. Oh. A little bit too much. Oh, that's going to go in the hole. Nope, maybe not. Thought it was. Even the way I was looking at the screen, I thought it was going right in the jaws. So I think Mark is just going to park this right up against the nine. Get that four ball to the oh no, you that wasn't a bad shot. That actually it came out pretty. Actually good. hit it, I think, a little bit weaker than what he had planned. He wanted that cue ball all the way down at the bottom and get that nine to go back to the middle of the table. Kind of a one pocket shot, or a snooker shot when you're mm. when they're breaking the snooker balls. Yeah. All right, back in the saddle here. Apologize for the short delay there of sound. Complaining about the, yeah. Um, yeah, and I could probably give it the drop off. I understand what Mark was trying to do there, but unfortunately, you're, you're leaving Oscar with either a two rail on the five. I think he might come back up table. Which yeah. oh no, two no. rail on the five. Yep. Now you've left Mark with a two rail on the side on the nine if he chooses. I don't think he's going to attempt that, to be honest with you. I bet he does. He didn't call anything. Yes, though. he did. What did he call? Side pocket. Mm. He did. Did he? Yeah. I didn't see that. Mm. Good shot. Yes, it was. <coughs> Oscar's going for this. Yeah, and he's going to try to get the cue ball down on the bottom there. It just likes to. He wants that thing to get all the way by the pocket. Yep. So Mark is going to probably attempt this nine ball yet again if he can get it past that four ball. But I don't know if he can or not. I don't think he can to get make it in the side. You think? No, I don't think so either. He's going to have to call anything. He's got to shorten it up. Trying to force him to this thing. 
I don't think he called me. I think he was trying to play us safe. Good shot. Yeah, there is nothing to shoot except the safety here. Yeah, he's going to run that four right into the nine or take the nine, run it down. Oh, he tried making the four, huh? Unfortunately, that does not count, people. Caramine off a ball does not count. Get back over here to this deal. I still wouldn't even at this point. I don't. I don't know if I'd want to get. Being in Mark shoes, I don't think I'd want to get aggressive here. But the thing not is when your playing Oscar's partner is Oscar. <laughs> well, the thing, is, yeah, and Oscar's not going to leave you a whole heck of a lot to shoot at. All right, he's going aggressive, playing the nine and uh, actually your upper left. Lots of left hand low. Yep. Ooh. Close. Uh-oh, five ball. Yep. Five ball straight back up table. He's going to have to straighten this up a little. Not a ton, but. Yeah, it doesn't look like a lot. On there it doesn't, but I'm looking right down oh. at it. it. It's pretty. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's very makeable, obviously. Otherwise, you wouldn't be shooting it. Just a little short. Boy, he shortened that thing up a very lot. Very good. Yeah. All right, Mark's probably going to bank this four. Given given that five is stuck tight to the rail, he's probably going to bank that four cross side. I'll take the five. Yeah, I, like uh, five. I think it's fully to the rail. Does look like it's broke. All right, he's calling it back. A little low left. Four ball back in the upper right hand corner. Or five ball back up this way. Nope. I would not. I would play the right side of, or I'm sorry, the left side of the five ball and put the cue ball behind. What did I tell you? Five ball back up here. Right. That's what I would have played. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Four to two. Oscar is on the hill. After being down minus one to two, it's now up four to two. Ball count. In the very first minus game. one to three. He was down four balls at one point. Was it minus yeah. one three? Oh, yeah. Now he's up four to two. That's right. Yeah, that's Mark. pretty impressive. Yeah. Look oh, at this. And look at this. Look at this. Look um, at that. Oh, he didn't call that. Oh, I thought he called it. <laughs> oh, he did. He yeah, did. yeah. Yeah, you better get that Let's one. Let's on watch the that again. Yeah, I got that on uh, replay. That's fantastic. Wow. Hell of a shot. All right. Fix that, though. Oscar's got one game under his belt there. And up to break. Finish it off on the three-railer. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's fantastic. Did you expect anything less from Oscar? No. Wonder if we'd have time to do a interview with Oscar after this or Mark. <coughs> Guess we don't have another match. Well, until they redraw, I'm sure. All right, one ball down. I believe we might, if they're up for it. <coughs> Not ideal position for the for the cue ball to be in to try to get a clean shot out of here. Uh, let's give you the overhead view for you to kind of take a look at it. Where I, I don't where really, at. I don't even see a shot. I don't know. I don't either. Six ball? Six ball, yeah. Boy, he's going to have to hit the super thin and really <laughs> get that cue ball moving fast. Get out of the way. Yep. A lot of left Ooh. hand low. Tell you what, hell of an effort. <laughs> Heck of an effort. I'm assuming that one does not go past the six. So the only if he if Mark wants to be aggressive, he's going to have to play the nine past the four ball. I don't think that passes either. He doesn't have much to shoot at either here. No, that that one ball definitely does not go past the six. The angle he has on that. Yeah, nope. no way. <coughs> he could try to z bank it, but. Ugh. I don't even think the Z-Bank goes because no. he has to get so close to the pocket that the, the six comes in into play. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> you know, and, and that's what I was thinking. With watching these guys warm up, wow. their use of English, I mean, he had to hit that almost straight on with left, or I mean, sorry, right, all kinds of balls moving there. Did you get that on replay? I mean, this, he almost had, see how straight he had to hit that? Look at that. To just, get that English just to take. Just passing that. that. That was impressive. Wow. That was a hell of a shot. All right, let's mark that down for Mark here. Wow. Very nice. All right, Mark with a 1-0 ball count lead here in the second game up at the table. Did he call that? He called two rails on the six. In the side pocket? I'm not sure. Oh yeah, he must have been trying to go in the side pocket there. Or he was trying to come over just over this pocket. He was close to that side pocket, so... Oh, it was corner he tried on corner pocket. <coughs> I saw him say something, but I didn't see him point or anything, so he must have just told him so he said corner pocket. I don't see this nine ball going in anywhere. Would you uh, just hit that five ball yep, and stick him on the just eight? Just thinking this exact same thing. Let's just stick him on the eight. Just a good old-fashioned safety. Man, I think that's exactly what he's going to do. Oh. Okay. 
Well, I guess either way, you know, get them down on the end rail or park them up against the eight. Yeah, and I think the reason he did that, otherwise Oscar's going to do the exact same thing back to him. Oh. And Oscar taps the table because he knows he got away with uh, getting the cue ball down there and really not leaving a whole lot for um, for Mark. I think he was tapping the table because he's a little upset with it. Because that nine should have went in. <laughs> that was hit really well. Damn diamond table. All right. Why do they have to play so good? shot well here we go with bunching all those balls up in one corner again this looks like a repeat of the last game mm -hmm. well i think oscar was looking at more parking the cue ball he didn't care where that ball went i think he just wanted to park the cue ball right where he did got him right up against that nine ball I like what he did there because he's got to make contact with the nine. See that jack up on this and then like a lot of low right. Yep. And then spin that cue ball down, down, table, down yep. table. Just like so. That's a good shot. That was a really good shot. Yeah, it was. <coughs> yes, it was. Yeah. Even Oscar was kind of smiling. He's like, damn, that was a good shot. Yeah. <laughs> Like so, I'm gonna put you in the same position you just put me. <coughs> yeah, I, I'll be honest with our viewers. This is a part of banks that I don't think I'd have the patience for. I love playing banks, but more a more on a bar box. Mm -hmm. uh, B, yeah, my patience would have worn thin a long time ago, and then I'd be. So in other words, I'd be in my hotel room whining and crying <laughs> that I had to buy back in. <laughs> so in other words, you play a ton of one pocket. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I got to admit, I've only played one pocket a few times. I, I like the strategy of the game. It's almost like bumper pool, honestly. Bumper pool is it's a it's a simple game. But you have to get that guy out. Oh, of there. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I saw another guy with a jersey of that on. I'm like, ugh, do you really know him? So Oscar's taking the four ball back in the side. Uh, oh. If it, it, it was a, close. It had a chance if it, it doesn't was double close. hit it. It was close. And Mark now has a shot at this four ball. Back of the four ball, back over. Side? Oh, he's going three rails. I like it because it gives him a, a perfect way to keep the cue ball down on that end of the table. Yeah. It's a good shot. All right. So after about 15 minutes, we got one ball, but one ball down. Just be careful, be careful, be careful. <laughs> that was close. Yeah, 
wouldn't you know it? I talk about the guy and, and he walks in. Oh no! I said, "Who are you talking about?" I hope that's not, not even close. I, we're gonna have computer. Uh, we'll have a is our computer acting up again. Yep. What is up with this thing? All right, I'm gonna take you guys. Give you guys this view, view here. Give you a good look of what he's got here and what he's gonna do. And he does. I don't think he wanted that ball to go in. Yeah, you are correct. He probably. I don't think it's really gonna hurt him all that much. But well, it's a six ball straight go. back up. Yep. And it's gonna, it, it's a free shot. Mm -hmm. No doubt. Hit this with pocket speed and make sure that cue ball stays down on that end of the table. Just like so. Pocket speed. What are they, brothers or something? <laughs> well, if Mark wanted to get aggressive, this four ball. Yeah, it's pretty straight on. Pretty straight on. Do you look at the bracket and see if they do anything or not? Oh, he went for it. Oh, and look at this. He double double kisses it, and it goes in the pocket. So now, <laughs> Oscar's Oscar's just laugh. They're both kind of laughing. I'm like, man, I didn't want that to happen. Because guess what shot Oscar's going to take. Bet it's cross. I think he's going five rails. Yeah, I agree. Oh. Wow, that come up short. Wow. Man, I'm a little surprised at that. That was like an entire ball short. So now now does Mark want to get aggressive again? Five in the side? Or is he going to play it safe? Three think? back. Three back by the cue ball. I think that six ball is in the way, though. Don't you think? D did you see him straighten up that one ball before? Yeah, that was <laughs> a little different, though. <laughs> I think that's because he's back cutting it. Yeah, I, I'd play the five cross side. Like so. Just like that. Good shot. Because Mark had I'd do two to zero lead. I'd do the same thing with this three right now. Absolutely. Unless he can oh. straighten up this six oh ball. might be able to. Yeah, this I think he can with a little. This is a one pocket shot yeah. here. Inside English. Ooh, he hit it. Did not hit it well. Good speed, though. Say Oscar's gonna come off the right side of this three ball, I think. Now come off the right side, push it towards that, and just come all oh. All right. All right, Mark back up at the table here. He might be able to straighten this six and come back. Just like that. All right, Mark is going to go up three to zero. Almost kind of where we were at the first match, except it was three to negative one when Oscar came back and won that one. So does he stay aggressive and go after this seven ball? Seven ball in the lower right corner as you're looking at the screen. But with it being froze on the rail, 
That's going to be a little tough. I said the side. Is he trying to Z bank this? Uh, that's not what he wanted. Came off that two ball. Came off the two ball and kicked right back out to the middle of the table. So ask her a straight bank right back to the upper right hand corner pocket that you're looking at the screen. Well, I think he really drew into that one to try to run in the seven to get it off the rail. He did. And so if he would have made that, that seven ball was now accessible to actually bank back to the right. So not quite sure. I think Mark is coming back to the lower right-hand corner. Yep, as you're looking at it, and he drills it. That's exactly what Oscar wanted. If he would have made that shot, he would have had that opportunity. So now Mark's got a pretty straight on six ball bank here. Come back to the lower left corner of your screen. And came up a little short. Well, this is going to give Oscar an opportunity here. So this one he's got to capitalize on. Six ball in the side. Bank it into the side pocket. Just like yay. Three to one or four to one. Oscar is on the board. Tried to play the eight down past the three, but unfortunately double kissed. So you see Mark get aggressive here, either bank the nine in the side. I don't think he can't cut that two ball enough. Oh, so he's gonna go down in the corner. Lower left hand corner as we're looking at the screen. Oh, very close. So here Oscar's looking at, does he get aggressive and go after it, or does he? So he's taking the nine ball up here. Me, personally, I would have been like, hey, look at that eight ball. That eight ball's looking yummy. But, again, these guys have so much knowledge under their belt with playing banks. Okay, so he is going after the eight. Hey, so maybe I was right. Because I think if he makes the eight, he'd come around for the nine. Bank that a little wide. Now Mark has an opportunity here. And he now this time, now he's going to cross bank, cross bank this into the side. And I just don't know if he's got it. I don't know if he can hit this hard enough, though. And if he does, he's got to be care careful not to carry him off the three and scratch. If he puts draw on it to draw out of that. He could run in a three and then scratch. He could put top on it try to just hit the long rail. Yeah, that's what he tried to do. 
He drew out of it nicely, but he was able to get that much draw on it because he hit it a little too full, and that's why he came up a little, a little long on that. So Oscar's going to take this three ball straight back up table to the pocket where he's standing at. Again, just a little long. Oh boy, this is going to give Mark a perfect opportunity for this two ball cross side. Oh, eight ball. My fault. I guess that's looked a little better than what, uh, what the two ball looked like. No, he is going for the two ball. Maybe. Maybe not. I can tell Mark plays a lot of one pocket. If he's taking this shot, he's used to playing this shot as a one pocket player. Yeah, he doesn't like the angle, so I think he's, oh, nine ball. Ah, I thought the two ball would be, I mean, that's almost straight in. That could be it for this one. Nope. Wow, I thought that was going. Thought it was going. Got it close. Wow, how's that? Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. That was that was a quite the shot, absolutely. Oscar will be glad to put that ball back up. Seeing as where that cue ball is. Quite sure what he's looking. I think he called the side pocket, but what's he putting in the side? Well, Oscar definitely has Mark thinking here. Jack up and uh, spin that, get that cue ball right back to where it is now. Hey, that English took off a little bit. That is not at all what he wanted. Uh, I think that was a foul, personally, but I'm not a ref, so. <laughs> and it's not our call. Nope. Three ball back down over the pocket he'll be at. I'm thinking is what he's looking at. Maybe, maybe not. I'll get you this angle here. It's a nice, nice angle to look at. Drilled it. All right, puts Oscar up two, four to two. And really no shots. No, he unfortunately got hooked behind that uh, the eight ball. He can't even cut the eight ball to come off the long way. Well, the two ball's in the way. 
It's like, do you want to swing for something that you know could open you up to losing? Losing, you know. So it looks like Ash is gonna just hit the left side of the eight ball and probably try to put the cue ball down table. Middle of the right table on the rail. Good shot. Just like that. So Mark planned on doing the same thing, but unfortunately, oh, no, he got, well, eight ball. Eight ball's an option if Oscar decides to swing for it. I don't think I would swing if I was him. Yeah, because if he puts top on it, you just want to be careful not to carry him off the nine. I like hitting the left side of the eight and bringing that cue ball back down table. Yep. Just like that. It's a good shot. Keep Mark away from shooting at that. Winning ball. Mm -hmm. Tell you, if Oscar comes back and wins this one, I mean, the first one was down three to minus one, came back and won. And it was down three to zero, or four to one, I think, four to zero, or four to one. I think. Uh, no, he's not doing what I thought. Ooh, good shot. Well, I'll tell you what, these guys are really get good at getting real close to that rail. Yeah. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, that nine gets in the way. <coughs> yeah, that's close. Bottom right for the win. Yeah, it almost looks like he has to come back the right. It looks like the, hold on, let's check the, oh yeah. So you look at this angle, that nine ball makes it. Uh, what? Oh, he's, okay, so uh, he's going across, up, cross up table. Right. Yeah. Oh no, he's just playing it safe. I think I would have played for that, for the win. So Oscar's, he's swinging for the two, trying to come back up table past the nine ball. Oh, that was so close to being good. I could go for the kill shot, nine in the upper right. Mm -hmm. Given where the two and the eight are, I think I'd take this shot on. The problem is being against the rail so much. You can't jack. You got to jack up on that one if you're no. going that way. He's aiming at the two ball, isn't he? Yeah. That's uh, going in the pocket. Oh, he called that. Oh, yeah. Wow. Another three-railer to end it. That's two three-railers in a row to end <laughs> each of these games. I love it. I'll be honest with you. This has been Let the most entertaining. Here it is again. <coughs> There she goes. Fantastic shot. Wow. Most entertaining chess match we've seen today. Absolutely. Phenomenal play.
All right, tied up, one to one. On to rack number three. Mark to break is its winner break. And nothing drops, which is going to give Oscar a great opening shot here. If he can see that three ball. Just hit the outer point. Mark's contemplating his next chess match move here. He's going to try to take the nine back beyond the five ball. He's playing a lot of English on that. He doesn't like it, though, as he got up to it. No, nope, I think he's going back to it. Put a lot of low right on this. Spin the ball. Once it comes off that rail, it spins towards the pocket. Just like that. Very well played. Gives Mark a 1 to 0 lead against Oscar. Not quite sure if he ended up with anything at this point. It's so hard to tell from the screen. I'm going to go back to the overhead here. really see much in a way of actually making a bank here. If he would have come up a little short, he could have possibly banked the eight back, but he can't see the eight past the four. The four possibly in the side past the seven, but that's a small pocket with that seven ball there. Thinking he's opting to play safe. Unless he's taking the th I don't know, I don't think you can shorten up that. So he opted for safe to just get the ball down. Wow, and that goes. Oh, whoa, what? Wow, he called that one too. Holy cow. That slid just past that eight ball. Holy cow. Another three railer from Mark, just sliding by the eight ball. I guess Mark has to just stick with three railers. See, you should have seen this. Sh Hold on, Mark. Watch it. Watch this. Ends up just sliding past that eight ball. That was gorgeous. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I forgot the mark. Mark marks. Mark, mark. <laughs> Two to zero in front of Oscar with ball count. So this is one that if Mark played it correct, okay, so he decided not to <coughs> put it in the jaws. He just wanted to get it in the middle of the table, which is a smart play because he knows that Oscar can't bank that five ball back. Right. It does leave Oscar the seven ball, though. Yep. Shot. And drills it ball right back to where he's standing. Uh, got it. Either the eight or the four cross side. I think I would play the four. 
Two to two. Rask have said enough of this. Long. Oh, just long. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Big. <laughs> that was not l that long. <laughs> no. Just by an outer point. Mm -hmm. So the only shot well. Mark really has is be aggressive if he wants to take the five. Take the five and uh, maybe call it, but then just leave the cue ball down at the other end yeah, of the rail. I like that shot. Or I kind of like what he's doing here, too. He can play the eight all the way down uh, past the five and put the cue ball on the bottom rail. I like this shot because it's more of a two-way than, see? That's a really good shot. If that and goes he in. Makes it. Oh, he makes it. That's gorgeous. Wow. That <laughs> is gorgeous. That's Wow. You know, it's funny how you just see that shot mm -hmm. and then I think I'd play this one, two rails in the side. Three to two in favor of Mark in this third rack. He could get aggressive and play the six um, top right. Yeah, I believe that's what he's playing too. Top right. Top right. I think he's going to go past the five ball and come yep. back down. Yep. <coughs> Two rails. Wow. I'm not no, sure I what was going on. I there. don't know what he was doing there. I'm not I sure he knew what he was doing there because he's kind of looking a little confused. <laughs> like what that's going to give Oscar a pretty easy bank on this six ball to side pocket here. Yeah, and if he can pocket the six, he can set himself up for either the five or the four. Mm -hmm. Little low left and just kind of punch it past. Yep, like so. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Outer point. Oh, and has a nice shot. Tied three to three. Yeah. Gonna have to hold this and shorten it up quite a bit. Oh, wow! <coughs> what a leave there, though. <laughs> I like I like Mark. <laughs> He's fun to watch. <laughs> yeah. it obviously, a very knowledgeable man oh. when it comes to banks. And probably Absolutely. Probably played a ton of one pocket in his life. Yeah, I think he played a lot of one pocket. You can tell just by some of the shots that he's looking at. I bet he's also a three cushion billiards player. <coughs> I never understood that game. Three cushion bill because the pockets are so small. I mean, you can't even see them. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. 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 Whoa. Whoa. That's a little close. Four ball right back down where he's standing, I'm thinking. Ew. Yuck. I know it's tough, but. Yuck. You can't take the five. Five cross side. Nope. Oh. That's, there that's you go. better. Look, Look at this. this. Oh, my gosh. What a shot. That has got them. Oh yep. Yeah. That was in the pocket. In the pocket. Yeah, I like this. Two rails in the side. Leave that cue ball right where it is, right where the one is. Yep. Yeah, I, I he knew it. <laughs> I think he. <laughs> I love Mark's mannerisms. <laughs> yeah. As soon as he hit, he didn't even turn around and look. He knew no. he missed it. He knew he missed it by a diamond and a half. It's awesome. He wants that thing all. That's good. Yeah, he wants it all the way down there. I'm gonna leave Mark with this. 
two almost railer on the one. Almost one. the same shot. <laughs> almost the same shot he just took. I actually, what I would, uh, yeah, maybe not. Given where that four is, you could almost two rail it in the bottom right hand Honestly, corner. Honestly, he could call another two. Yeah, two rail in the yeah bottom right. Yeah. But the thing is, you got to get that cue ball away from where that. You can't stick it right there. Other he did he, he did call it, it there, yep. but you got to make sure this cue ball does not end up where uh, Oscar can bank the four. Yep, right. That's a good shot. Oh, look at that! <coughs> look at that! What a shot! Holy man! Got that on replay. I hope that's fantastic. Wow! <laughs> this is good stuff. There it is, right in there. Wow! And that, put, that puts Mark on the hill. Wow. What a good shot. Look at this view here of uh, people sitting up there watching. Thank God we got uh, this up there. Got this up there to hide certain things. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, I think I can. Uh, I think I can do something with that. I'm gonna move that over a little bit. What do you do here? Yeah, it's. I think he's gonna make the four, maybe. No, I I would not do that. Or just carry him off the four and get the get the four back over. I I, the I like playing the far left side of the four and bringing the cue ball back down here. <coughs> Do that. He's got to just miss it. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, like yeah, that. Like that. Good shot. The only thing is, he actually left Oscar a shot on this four ball. I think he wanted that four a little bit fur or closer to the middle of the table or the middle yeah, diamond. I, I should say. I would play this four down there, pocket speed. Yep. To okay. just try to miss the five ball. Because then you leave the cue ball down the other end of the table, and if you miss that shot, you just you just don't. Where did where did he call it? He just called it four rails, the four ball, four rails, right where it is. Did he really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is an awesome game! Wow, good shot. I love it. Even with a little bounce on that four ball, mm -hmm. it still ended up, I mean, just ideal speed. Sure, he didn't count on that, but. He wanted to get that ball on the rail. <coughs> All right, so does Oscar decide to be aggressive here? Or does he just, no, he's not. Wow, oh, good shot. So he is calling another two railer. Pretty sure he called another two railer here. 
That's the right oh, shot. Did he call the side pocket? No. I think he was just tapping the rail, I think. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that drops and he's up two to one. Wow. Oscar can actually make both of these balls. Oh, he didn't. Uh, in fact, I don't think oh, he called that. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Yeah. I bet he's try to he's gonna try to get this right in the jaws. No, he just wanted to make a hit, but now <laughs> wow. Uh, that's fantastic. <laughs> uh, you know, th and I know you can't see it on camera folks, and it's it's a shame because these two their camaraderie with each other is fantastic. Yeah. I, I mean, they're laughing and joking with each other. I, I mean, this is it's fantastic. I mean, it's real. It's very good sportsmanship on both of their parts. It's a fun match to watch. Not even just not even just the pool itself. You know, it's fun to see guys having yeah, fun. Yeah, exactly. Don't take it so, that's what, uh, so dang serious. That's what pool needs. So do you try to make this four and get it get it stuck behind <laughs> the outer point? Uh, I don't know. I don't know either. Or, or yeah, try to get the cue on the outer point. Dale went out there because he asked for someone to, to watch it. Oh. That's unfortunate. <coughs> he tried to actually hit that hit that four ball solid. And uh <coughs> keep it on the table and come off and hit the other outer point, but unfortunately it he did it, but it uh fell in the pocket. So now, what do you think? Uh, you think he just goes straight at this, or you think he takes the tries a nine? No, th again, this is like a, a snooker shot. Um, pin. He's gonna go pin straight. Pin one at of the balls. He's going straight at it. Bring the cue ball, or yeah, that way too. <coughs> no, as long as you freeze that ball in there, it's yeah, money. <laughs> I think this is headed right for the side pocket. Yeah, which that's is why. That's what Mark was kind of mouthing. <laughs> yeah, get the, get like that camera on his face again. He's like, "Oh shit!" Get that side view. <laughs> I wish <laughs> I'd have had that before. Right, you could have you could have do some lip reading. Yeah, and he kind of he kind of smiled at Oscar. He's like, "Yeah, that was a good shot." And given the fact that he really can't hit. The left side of that three without putting the cue ball in the side pocket. No. Very well played by Oscar. Quite the reversal again. Hey, we're missing uh we're missing a ball here. Oh, I took one oh. Did does wait a second. I took one off of Marks because he, he fouled. But does Oscar have four? I didn't think I don't so know. I, I've been I've been doing it I don't know. 
I'm I'm sure must ha- he must have four. There's only two balls on the yeah, field. Yeah, because yeah, Mark had, had to take Mark one away from four. Mark. Right. So yeah, Oscar must have four. <coughs> Wait a second. Yeah, yep, that's okay. it. All right. <laughs> I was about to say, wait a minute. Uh, something's not working out here. All right. Two to one. Oscar is in the lead. All right. I need to go potty break. Right, I'm going to go visit the little boy's room, and I will be back. Make sure you wash your hands. You good? I'm, I'm as good as I'll ever be. Matches yet tonight? Maybe three. Probably not. Oscar pocketing a ball. And really nothing to shoot at other than, yeah, nine ball. That's about the only shot I see. Could play the five, but. sure where he's playing the first one. I'm assuming front eight. Oh, cut to seven. Good shot for Oscar.
and sit back too. Boy, you had to shorten that one up a lot. All right, folks, that is going to wrap up this match. Oscar Dominguez taking down Mr. Mark Showalter, and that was a fantastic match. Uh, I'm going to wait and see if Brian gets back in here. Uh, we might do a post-interview with Oscar, but we'll figure that out in just a minute. Just don't go anywhere just yet. <laughs> 